This is huge. Imagine your large language model has a second brain where you can store as much as data as you want and query that data whenever required using a simple interface. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Quaver, your second brain for your large language model. Here you can upload text file, markdown file, PDF file, PowerPoint file, CSV file, Word document, audio or video. And it is a simple interface where you are able to talk to these data which you uploaded. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up and run in your local machine. As a prerequisite, you need a Docker in your computer and also you need to create an account in Superbase. In your terminal, create your virtual environment. Conda create hyphen n quaver python equals 3.11 and click enter. Now activate the environment by conda activate quaver and click enter. Next git clone stand garage slash quaver and click enter. Now navigate to the folder. If you're using a Mac, you can use brew install gum and brew install postgres as a prerequisite. If you're using Windows, you can use Scoop to install Charm Gun and also Postgres. I'm using Mac, so I'm doing Brew Install Gum and click Enter. Next, Brew Install Postgres SQL and click Enter. Next, make this install helper.sh executable. So to do that, you are typing chmod plus x and click Enter. Next, type dot slash install helper.sh and click Enter. This should automatically ask you a few questions which you need to answer. But in order to do that, you need to have Superbase account. So I'm going to go to that URL. So I'm in Superbase now. I've created an account. And after that, you need to create a project, new project, and choose an organization. I'm going to create a name for my project, which is demo. And I'm asking you to generate a password for me. And I'm going to copy that password for my future reference. And then click create new project. Make sure you copy that password and save it in notes. Now you can see it's setting up project. So now if you go back to our terminal, it's asking for a super base URL. To get the super base URL, on the left hand side, bottom corner, you should have an icon like this and you can click that button. Now you are in your project settings tab and if you go there, you should have database, API and authentication. Click that API. From there, you should be able to get the project URL and click the copy button and navigate to your terminal and paste it there and click enter. Now it's asking for Superbase service key. So go back to your browser. You can see the service key there. So just copy that. I'm going to revoke that when I publish this video. So copy that key and then you can actually paste it here and click enter. And now it's asking for OpenAI API key. This you can download it from OpenAI website and paste it here and click enter. Now it is asking for JWT secret key. Go back to your browser. When you scroll down, you should be able to see the JWT secret key. So I'm going to copy that. I've copied that and going back to your terminal, you can just paste it there and click enter. Now it's asking for database host name. Go back to your browser again. There is a tab called database. Click that and you should have all the information about that. So I'm going to enter database back in your terminal and then database name as postgres back to your terminal and paste then ports go to back to your terminal and paste next the user copy and then you should be able to paste that in terminal next is asking for the password you copied that when you created your project so you're going to paste that and click enter now it's asking if you want to create all the tables and click enter now it's creating the table required for all the embeddings this should take a minute to get it all done. Keep the terminal running and you can now browse the second brain in localhost number 3000. So I've entered that in the navigation at the top and then you should be able to see a beautiful interface like this. In this interface, go to sign up and click that. Here you can enter your email address and create an account and activate it. As soon as you enter your email address, it will send an email to your email address. So go to your email and click that link. So the email should look like this and click the confirm your email button. Next, it will automatically come to the interface. This is your second brain. Here you can upload any document. Just now I uploaded a research document and that is my default brain. And I'm going to click send to my brain. Now you can see it has processed the document. 
you can ask a question explain in two lines what is this document about the document discusses the advantages and limitation of artificial intelligence applications that's correct in this you can have more number of brains for example if you want to add another file it'll ask which brain you want to use do you want a default brain or do you want to create a new brain so you can create as many number of brains as you want and give a name for example if all your documents is about AI then you can create a brain called AI brain and then go and create that brain considering your AI brain got created now you can upload any file and then send to my brain also you can send any URL into your brain and click enter then send to my brain and after uploading to that brain you are able to ask questions about that article as simple as that now your large language model has a second brain I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.